Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Gear TV. I finally got a shed and over the last few days, it's been blistering hot. It feels like close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit outside. I've got the EcoFlow Wave 3, all of that EcoFlow gear. I wanted to run a little experiment and see, can the EcoFlow Wave 3 keep my shed cool? And to keep this whole system going for the day, I've got 500 watts of solar power. That is that EcoFlow modular solar panel set. I did a review on this a few months back, but the the best part about this system is it's all plug and play. You essentially daisy chain all of the solar panels. It wires them in parallel so that the voltage remains the same throughout the system very good feature of these modular solar panels. And I can already imagine what the comments are gonna say. I do in fact only have the hot air coming out. The Wave 3 does have four vents, two inputs and two outputs. For me, the best solution was just to run this. If I need to, I do have room to cut that second hole so that I could put that intake into the outside as well. But the benefit of having the hole versus the loss due to the negative vacuum pressure is not something that really concerns me. And even though I have that 500 watts of solar power, realistically in maximum sun conditions, I'm pulling in maybe about 440 watts, but I have had some overcast skies throughout the day dropping that down to even 40 watts. And this system's been running in this configuration for about three hours now. The whole building, the inside is made out of OSB or particle board. It doesn't have a significant amount of insulation but it started at like 83 degrees this morning and the high today was something close to 100. EcoFlow Wave 3 has been running on its maximum output setting for the last three hours. I'm kind of impressed with one, it doesn't feel as clammy in here. So the humidity is a little lower than if I just had you know the, the shed with no HVAC in it at all. But the exhaust here is absolutely hot. The 500 watts of solar panels they are those bifacial design. And right now, over the last few minutes, I've been pulling in more than 500 watts. Very impressed with the results from those bifacial solar panels. Most companies, when they advertise a solar panel, you will never get more than the rated capacity of those panels. So if you just saw there a minute ago, I was hitting 550 watts, and that is honestly nuts. I never would have expected to get that much power from those 500 watts of, of panel. From the EcoFlow Wave 3, I'm pulling about 760 watts, just under 760 watts, and that is a lot of power, so I'm definitely gonna run out of power eventually. I'm pulling more power than I'm putting in, but even adding one or two more of those 500 watt configurations could possibly allow this system to run as it's configured right now and definitely the delta pro 3 almost speaks for itself i've used this as my primary backup source inside of my home i keep this thing topped off if the power goes out i can hook in my fridge keep my essentials powered with this power station really without any power anxiety and overall this has been one of my favorite larger systems also because it has the wheels some of the other large systems don't have wheels and so i've got to lift them and lug them like i'm doing the uh, the globe move in the world's strongest man competition. This thing, I just pop out this handle, lift it up, roll it like a heavy suitcase, put it where I need it and put it to work. This does have a 240 volt output. That's a feature that a lot of these larger systems still don't even have. Also don't think I mentioned it yet, but the Delta Pro 3 accepts up to 2,600 watts of solar power. It has one 1,600 watt input and one 1,000 watt input. If you just have one solar panel and you're not using this that often, you'd use that smaller, that lower voltage input. But if you have a large array or even two large arrays, you could get a lot of solar power at that higher 150 volt maximum input. So very flexible when it comes to what can you charge with this power station. Now the EcoFlow Wave 3 has been an absolute beast. This one is 5,100 watts of cooling, which very close to some of the smaller true window mount systems. And so the disadvantage is it does have this hose. It is configured really for portability. So it's not the ideal air conditioner for this setup, for this kind of building, but I'm not overwhelmed with the heat currently. And so it is performing as needed. Now I've gotta let you know before I show you these results that 
the other sensor is outside, it is in direct sunlight, and so it is getting its maximum heat possible from the sun. But overall, it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm looking at 118 degrees Fahrenheit outside and 88 degrees inside. So overall, I really can't complain. Yes, it's still 88 degrees. This thing is way underpowered for the volume of this shed, but coming into 88 degrees versus that 120 in the direct sunlight, which you can feel it if you're out there, you will start sweating immediately. To me is an absolute win for the EcoFlow Wave 3. Guys, a massive thunderstorm is rolling in. It's supposed to rain for the next two days. So I cut this experiment short. Overall, I was actually really happy with the performance of all these devices. They are somewhat mix, mismatched. The, the Delta Pro 3 is super big. The Wave 3 is kind of tiny for this. And then the solar panel array is a little small for this combination. 500 watts of solar, EcoFlow Wave 3, Delta Pro 3. They are all within the EcoFlow family of items. However, the EcoFlow Wave 3 has that XT150 cable. The Delta Pro 3 does not have an XT150 input, so it is strictly reliant on using that AC power. I don't really know the true benefit of using those other cables, except for maybe freeing up an outlet if you need it. This stuff works perfectly together. The way, the way I would really use this if I was intending to do this permanently, first of all, I don't wanna damage the shed. I would set up something so that the shed does not get wet. That's why I took all the baffles out of the window. I don't want this moisture ruining my brand new to me repossessed shed that I bought you know, for half price. I feel like if I drag this video any longer, it'll just be wasting your time. So if you enjoyed it, Please give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts about my experiment in the comment. Let me know if you want to see any other experiments with this system or any other systems. And as always, check out my link in the video description. I do make a small commission off of any sales. It's not a lot, but it does help kind of keep the channel going. So if you're interested in that, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on my next adventure.